Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and we just got done removing the SRS control unit out of this Honda Civic. We do have a video on that if you want to check it out. We're going to go ahead and show you how to remove the seatbelts. Usually after an accident, the seatbelts will deploy, they'll lock the passenger in place, and they'll need to be replaced. Or as an alternative, we do provide a service that can rebuild your original seatbelt back to its original design and function, where it will deploy in another accident event. So you wanna go ahead and grab a little flat bar or a large flathead screwdriver. And we're gonna start right here on this panel on the pillar. So you wanna get right in between the lining here and the panel. Just to loosen it up, you can start right here between these two panels at the top and then work your way down. Here at the bottom, you're gonna need to disconnect the panel on the foot side first. And then we're going to need to move this piece here. It's the one on the side between the driver's seat and the door. And you just wanna loosen it up. And when you remove it, you can see this piece lays on top of the pillar panel that we need to go ahead and remove. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the rear side, in the rear seats. And so we're gonna do the same here in the back seats. You don't have to completely remove it, just so that this panel here is freed up. So once we have this part loosened up, we're gonna go ahead and go right down towards the bottom half first. There is only one bolt at the top that you're gonna to need to remove. The rest of the action is down here below. The first thing we wanna do is make sure the battery is disconnected. We don't want any power going into the car while we're working with the airbag system, whether it's the airbags, the module especially, and the seat belts. And right here, we can clearly see the seat belt pretensioner. It's mounted right to the pillar. And on this car, we have a triple stage seat belt. Most newer cars have this. Back in the day, it used to be just one part that deploys. With newer cars, it's actually three or two. This one has three. There's one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. And even some of these cars have seat belts that deploy in the back seat as well. The way you can tell if it's a one or dual or triple stage seat belt is by looking at these plugs here, these yellow plugs. These are each parts that deploy and need to be replaced. So there's one here, one on the other side, and one down below. And that's actually called an anchor tensioner. So there's one on the pillar and there's one right between the seats. So here we have a better view of the anchor tensioner. So this part here connects with the actual seat belt pretensioner. It's connected right here. And if this was a deployed seat belt, one way to tell is that this piece here would be scrunched together, scrunched down like an accordion. Here you can tell it's this black metallic tube that runs parallel to the seat. And the plug for this piece is right here. And the bolt to disconnect it is right here. The proper procedure to disconnect the belts is the battery needs to be disconnected. Then go ahead and disconnect the plugs first and then the bolts. So here on the anchor tensioner, the plug is here, the bolt is here. So the anchor tensioner runs back up here and connects with this pretensioner on the pillar. These are the wire harnesses we're going to remove. There's one here, and we can go ahead and lift up these little pieces here on the side, and it'll come right out. And same thing on the other one here. So on this wire harness, go ahead and pull up on this little piece. There's one more on the other side. And on this one here. The next and last step is to go ahead and remove the bolts. There's one here up top, another one here at the bottom, 
And then the last bolt is gonna be right up here and you can access it from the back right here. When a car gets into an accident, there's three main components that need to be addressed. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seatbelts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is that they're pretty expensive brand new and used modules require hiring a technician to go in and program the module to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new module to your car. Here at MeyerBags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag module, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we can clear it of all codes, and because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Number three, seatbelts. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw a trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your deployed seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt techs are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are refurbished, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. If you want to know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. After removing the airbag module and seat belts, you can send it to myairbags.com for reset. Go to myairbags.com, select your year, make, and model, then add the repair service to your cart. Print the label in your order, tape it to the box, and drop it off at any delivery location. If you need seat belts or any other SRS parts repaired, you can send them in the same package and order. You won't be charged until after My Airbags has reset your module and seat belts. Once we receive your module and seat belts, our turnaround time is 24 hours. We get them in and out.